Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Cash Locks in Life, and today we are opening some happy mail and also cash stuffing my cash envelopes and sinking funds for the first time in May. So we get right into it. I'm doing things a little differently today, only because um, I was informed like two days ago that we are going out of town this weekend. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> So actually our flight leaves in a few hours. So I am so excited. I like to travel. Like I that is my love language. I know it kind of sounds funny, but that's just part of my personality. My my I recharge during that time. I'm just someone that loves to go places. Even if it's 30 minutes away and we stay overnight or we just go somewhere for the day and come back. I love to go places. I don't know. <laughs> And it could stem from the fact when I was younger, I couldn't go many places. And so um, as I got older and began to explore, you know, everything this world has to offer, I just wanted to do all the things. So so anyway, this happy mail comes from Yancy Budgets. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> I purchased this from her shop. Oh, she wrote me a little note. Cash Locks Life. Ah, oh, thank you so much for your order. It goes perfect after your vacation. Means a lot. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Yancy. I don't know if y'all watch her content. She is like super energetic, funny, just um all over the place. But I mean that in a great way. I mean, I wish I had some of her energy. She is awesome and she's so super supportive of everyone in this community she supports everyone and so if y'all don't follow her go check her out i think you may like her content i'm gonna keep my little note thank you Yancy. that's cute and i have tropic light like it's hot <laughs> i don't know uh i thought it was the cutest thing oh my gosh i don't know what the amount of the challenge is but i think on her site, it looks like low income challenges. So I thought this was perfect. I'm going to add this to my savings challenges once I complete one. And this, I think this will just go into a travel, well, my travel envelope. But that's cute, isn't it? Just a little card. Thank you, Yancy. All right, so let's get started with the cash counting for today. I dropped my money in here this morning. I'm going to try and move a little quick. I can't promise it. You know, whatever. I'm trying. Thankfully, we're already packed. But um, I'm so excited about the weekend. Oh, my gosh. Do y'all have any weekend plans? I hope it's something fun or just relaxing. Whatever you want to do this weekend, I hope that you get to do it. So, let's go ahead and count. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 305 dollars that we're stuffing today. Yeah, but still, I, I do want you guys to drop below. Where do you think I'm going? I will give you some hints. It is in the continental U.S. Just think about, I'll give you a hint. Think about what's going on right now. That's, um, I don't know. I, it's not really a big deal to a lot of people, but what's what's going on right now? Where do you think I can be going? Like, what's a big event? Or just what's going on right now? We will leave it at that. <laughs> I, know that's a, I know that's a very vague hint. You're like, girl, I'm not going to guess it like that. You know, let's just see. You know, I am... Um, a really huge sports fan. Let's put it like that. Okay? That's a better hint. All right? And by the way, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day whenever you're watching this video. So, we'll go ahead and stuff my cash envelopes. As you see, last week I cut these down. Can you tell? I cut these down and made them shorter so they can fit inside my wallet. I added some um, binder rings to my um, one of my wallets. And so, these fit perfectly. But I had to cut them down just a little so that when I zipped it up, it wouldn't break the zipper or be too tight and, and end up ruining it before I've had a chance to even really use it. So that is why these in the front are shorter than the ones in the back. All right. So Amaya is getting her customary $10. Fun is going to get 50. 
So y'all remember in my last video when I was saying that I definitely need a cash envelope for dining out and not a sinking fund. So I pulled my dining out and date night envelopes from my sinking fund um, binder. And for now, I'm going to put all that money into my fun envelope. So this will be fun, dining out, date night, whatever I feel like I want to use. That's what this will be for now. Because I, to be honest, like even though I said I could do a whole, you know, I want to do a whole new setup, I really don't. <laughs> Not right now. Like I want to see if I can use the setup I have maybe until later in the year and get a whole new setup for next year. I don't know if that's going to happen because I'm a very like, okay, now I want this now kind of person. But um, it's working for me. Like I, I can't, I don't feel right changing when it it really works right now so we'll see how the end of the year the rest of the year goes okay gas is getting oh it's not getting 100 tiffany gas is getting 50 20 40 50 in gas okay groceries is getting 100 20 40 60 80 100 for groceries Personal is only getting five. I have decided because, you know, you know, I'm not stuffing my side hustle income right now. Just my main income after I do the things I need to do, whatever I have left. Um, I'm going to move to weekly stuffing of that. So um, we'll see how that works. So personal, I don't foresee anything this week. So I'm just putting five there. And of course, Tiffany's going to just get 10 this week. Alright, and these will actually come out of this binder and go into my, my wallet. It's so funny, I went to the store, um, <laughs> uh, we went to the, the mall, I think. Okay, birthdays is going to get $10. So now on birthdays, we have 100, 10, 15, 20. And we went to the mall this week, and my daughter wanted to get some things. You know, she, she had a growth spurt, and... She just wanted to go. I'm like, the mall really doesn't have anything here. I don't know. The mall is like a totally different landscape than it used to be when I was younger. The mall was the place to go. Car maintenance, now house 100, 200, 210. And car maintenance. Um, we went there sometimes just to hang out. You could people watch, have a good time. You know, go to the food court. The mall where I live at sucks. <laughs> to say it nicely or put it plainly it sucks so christmas is getting ten dollars and now in christmas we have hey is this a star note wait a minute i've never seen this before how am i just seeing that god is that a star note oh my gosh please let me know please let me know is this a star note i think it is after watching um one of Black and Blue's videos, I think I have a star note here. Oh my gosh, this is my first star note. <laughs> so, you know, I'm always looking at my ones and my fives. I don't look at my larger bills. I, I can't tell you why. So, I don't know how long this has been in my, um, my, um, my envelope. I have a star note. Oh gosh, oh gosh. All right, so what does that mean? What does this mean? Okay. Um, Christmas has 150, 160, 165. Oh my gosh, y'all tell me what this means. I don't know. I think I have to go YouTube it or Google it. Like, what does having a startup mean? I think that um, it means that you may possibly have a bill that's worth more than face value. I think so. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. I need to go and look it up. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. So clothing is getting 10. I don't even know the story I was telling. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. Let me look at this one. <laughs> clothing is getting 10. Okay. Yeah. So I, we went to the mall because she wanted to get some things. I'm like, there's nothing in the mall. But, you know, just to appease her because we hadn't really spent any one-on-one -on -one time. We went. Um, we found this cool cotton candy machine. Household is getting 10. So now household, we have 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh gosh, that's not right. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80 dollars. Okay. 
and it was so cool i've never seen it before they actually had two in the mall and i haven't been in the mall in ages feels like but um when i go there i go into dealers and i leave i don't really go in the mall area so we found um two of those machines it was like five dollars so we put the money in there and it went through this whole production of creating this cotton candy that was pink and yellow it was like a heart with a flower around it i'm like oh wow but the cotton candy was nasty <laughs> I'm like, no, this is not cotton candy. It did not taste like spun sugar or whatever, you know, you say cotton candy is. It tasted like some kind of syrup that they use. It, it just was not good at all, but it was pretty. <laughs> I put that on my Instagram. Um, For medical, we're also putting $10. So now I'm medical, 20 40 60 80 $90. Okay. So yeah, that was um our experience at the mall. She found three items that she really wanted. She went over her budget because I pulled money from clothing in her envelope and she went over budget. So what I said to myself was next time I'm going to just give her the cash and let her go into the store and I'll go somewhere else and we'll meet back up. Because I think that is the best way of teaching them to make sure the things that you're purchasing can be covered by the cash you have in hand. Because, because mom's there, it's like, oh, I went over, but mom will cover it. No, I think... And, you know, please don't take this the wrong way. I think if she goes into the store and buys something and doesn't have enough money, that sense of, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed, she will make sure in the future to always, like, you know, pay attention. You know, make sure she's spending on, on budget. And I'm not trying to, like, embarrass her for, like, humility's sake. It's just a lesson. You have to teach kids lessons these days. And some learn by experience. So, travel, we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 110. I'm supposed to be stuffing this fast, and I'm just rambling on. Let me, let me, <laughs> we gotta leave. <laughs> Our airport is like two hours away. Okay, one month ahead is also getting $10. Oh, and it's my last 10. Look, I'm checking for star notes. Jeez. Okay, so now in one month ahead, we have 1, 2, 250, 260, 5, 270. Yay! All right, guys, that is it. I want you guys to have a great weekend. Do whatever it is that makes you happy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.